My name is uh, Dr. Michael Gindy, and this is the 15th annual IV lab where we teach the first and second year medical students how to be comfortable starting IVs. We are going to be doing uh, IVs on each other. Uh, there's nothing like the real thing, and uh, it also helps the students appreciate that some of the things that we do to our patients are a bit painful. The first two years of medical school are, are it's, it can be a real drone. It's a lot of classwork and the hands-on stuff is few and far in between. So any opportunity like this we get where we can actually do some hands-on procedures and practice touching patients, putting in needles, whatever it may be. It's, it's always great to break up the mundane nature of what we do. Doing labs like this at night after school where they have a relaxed atmosphere and you have wonderful teachers like Dr. Gindi who actually explain it to them from step one right through to the end will help them relax and probably help them do a better job when they care for their own patients. I hope they take away uh, probably the most important thing is that they have to remember number one to wear gloves and to use universal precautions whenever they do a procedure that involves blood or any type of uh, body fluid uh, exposure. I feel like everyone should definitely do this. Uh, doing it on a fake arm in uh, ICC is great because we learn like the technique, but when you have it done on yourself and when you do it on another human being, it's completely different. The only way to learn it really is by doing it. So when we actually do these procedures, we know the steps and then it will come to us quicker when we're on rotations and in, out in the hospital. I've had needles stuck in me before, so this isn't really too bad. It's not that nerve-wracking at all because you're going to do it to someone else, so it's like you're just returning the favor. <laughs> My favorite part of today was seeing everybody overcome their fear of getting stuck with a needle in order to let their fellow students practice a very uh, important skill that we're all going to have to be able to be proficient at in the future. Many uh, students who've gone through this lab have gone on to become uh, fourth year students in my program, have gone on to be residents, and have even gone on to become my co-attendings. So it all starts here and hopefully I'll make some friends tonight and impress upon them what a great field emergency medicine is.